Hi everyone, it's Tiffany again. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to authenticate a coach bag, the newer ones and the older ones. There's actually a really simple way. I'm just so tired of seeing all of these things online that just simply are not true. They go on and on about how this is how you tell a fake coach bag from a real bag. It has to have a YKK zipper. The handers, handles have to be leather. The stitching has to be perfect. All these things that they say coach always does. And it's it's just not true. Like you can go into any coach store and you'll find bags where the C's aren't perfectly lined up or the zippers aren't YKK or the stitching's not perfect. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of tricks. If you have the bag with you, it's super easy to look for. Um, or if you have a computer handy or just ask the seller to send you photos. So I'm gonna start with the older bags. And here's one. And this is a Coach Ashley scarf print. And so all you want to do, well, first of all, I'll start with the coach interior. See how this is just a solid black satin interior? Um, or or uh, it'll be like a, a solid, thick, kind of a canvasy material. Coach doesn't use zebra print. They don't put like the, you'll see a, a dead giveaway for the fake coach bags is this ugly, like brown with these almost cartoonish looking C's in kind of a mustard color. Um, or or it'll be mustard color with brown C's. Um, that is a dead giveaway that it's not authentic. Coach doesn't use that hideous, ugly interior. Every once in a while they do use C's on the inside, like on their special editions or their lunch totes or some, some of the newer uh, ED bags will have signature interior, but it will be like black with just lighter black C's and it'll look classy, it'll look nice. You'll So anytime you see on a website, Poshmark is horrible for, um, for their fake bags. So anytime you see that interior, just run away because it's not real. So it should, um, and like I said, not always, but most of the time should be a solid interior. Like I said, there are a few exceptions, which I will show you. Um, so you want to pull out this patch and this one's going to be hard to see because it's black, but it is the coach creed patch and it's going to have this serial number at the bottom. So the most important, the first part's gonna be the date and where it was made, but the second part, it's a five digit number and that's the style number. So this one is F17644. The F stands for factory, which means that this bag was made for the factory, not for one of the like specialty New York stores. So what you wanna do, I have my computer right here and I'm gonna just see if I can get it to where you can see here. And I'm just gonna type into Google, I'm gonna type in coach and that five digit number, which was 17644, 17644. I'm gonna click on images and see, you will see this bag pop up. So you can see they make it in this color, they make it in the color that I show. So if you were to type in a number that did not exist, like if it's a fake bag, because fake bags will use a fake serial number. They're not smart enough to try and replicate a bag and actually put that same serial number. They haven't figured that part out yet. So what they'll do is they might try and replicate this bag. It'll look horrible, by the way. It won't look nice. Um, but instead of trying to replicate this bag and actually matching the serial number, they'll just put like this crappy patch inside that says coach like 37999 and it won't match up. So if you go to type it into Google and you see a bunch of random bags or you see like running shoes or pet clothes or something, you'll know that it's not authentic. So that's a real simple way to do it. Um, we'll try it here. And like I said, it's not a 100% way to tell because there are a few rare bags that, that I have that are authentic that when you look it up on Google, they don't show up. So it, that is not a 100% way to tell, but it is um, very easy and more than likely it should show up unless it's a rare bag. But here we have, this is just a Coach Signature denim backpack and see how the inside solid, but this is that canvas material, but it's a nice thick canvas, super easy to clean. So this number is 77171. So we're just typing that into Google and see, you'll see that I make it in brown, they make it in black. The color that I have is actually rare, so that color is not showing up. Um, and so I talked about different interiors. That's what I'm going to show you next. This is a Coach Legacy bag. 
Legacy is just a certain line that they made, but the Legacy interior is like this. It's a striped, really nice satin interior. They do try to replicate this, but it, it feels horrible. It's like a really gross, it'll get little fuzz balls on it. Um, just a really cheap. This is a nice, a nice thick satin material. And they will try to replicate the satin with just this gross, like 1980s looking, really horrible, um, shiny, shiny. You can even notice it in pictures. When people take pictures, you'll see that it's just overly shiny and the stitching's really bad. But again, it's always going to have that creed patch with that number. So you can look that up. And so that's for the older bags. Um, I want to talk about what Coach just did uh, midway through 2014 that's really confusing everyone. Um, the one thing that's consistent about Coach is that they're not consistent at all. They always are changing things around. That's why when I read these things online that tell you it has to have this and it has to have that, it just makes me laugh because it's not true. So what they did in 2014, how I just showed you the serial numbers on the Creed patch, well, they are no longer doing that. They still have the Creed patch, but what they do... And I want to show you my receipt here, first of all. So this is from Coach. You can see that it, this we're going to talk about this one down here, this Badlands Floral City Tote. So you can see my receipt. And so it still have it in the plastic. It actually still has the price tags on it. So when you pull it out, it does have this Creed patch. Sorry, it's upside down. But see how there's no serial number? There'd normally be a serial number there. And so most people see that and they freak out and they think, I actually had a lady message me because um, I sell on eBay and she was asking me. Um, she had purchased a bag from another seller and she was scared that it was fake and I said, no, do this. So what you do, the inside zipper pocket, turn it inside out. Right here, there's a little white tag and it's going to have those same serial numbers on it. So it's the same numbers that would normally be on the patch are now in the inside zipper pocket and you actually have to turn it inside out. So it's this white little tag, and it says, the number we're looking for is that five digit number, the last numbers, and it is 38161, which you can see matches right here on the price tag, 38161, which is also on my receipt, if you notice there at the bottom. Um, I guess it can't really get it that clear, but this one, 38161. So we know that it's authentic. So that's what they're now doing. They're doing that to confuse people. They figure if they do that, then people are going to be scared to buy it online, that they're going to see it online and be like, oh my gosh, that doesn't have a serial number. It's fake and they're not going to buy it. So they're going to be forced to go buy it in a coach store. So that's their reason behind doing that. And they started doing that in 2014. So if you have a bag without a serial number, don't panic right away. Just make sure that it has that little white tag in the inside pocket. If there's no serial number and no tag in the inside pocket, then it is fake. And I'm just going to show you on a couple more of the newer ones. Like, this is a new Morgan, Coach Morgan bag. And it again, no serial number on the bottom. But when you pull out the white tag in the inside pocket, it's going to give you that. And again, you can still look it up on Google that way as well, just by pulling that tag out of the inside pocket. Same thing with this, this is a newer Coach Park bag. And again, white tag in the inside pocket. Still has the Creed patch and it has the nice, this is the satiny interior. It's really nice and thick. It's not cheap and gross like an 80s prom dress. Um, one other thing that always confuses people also is some Coach bags do not have the Creed patch at all. Example, this Coach Park mini duffel bag. There's a lot of like um, some of their wallets, some of their crossbody swing packs, the smaller bags will not have a Creed patch at all and they will also not have a tag in the inside pocket. They just don't do that. I guess they just want to confuse people. Another confusing thing about Coach. Um, so if you get a bag that is smaller, just know that it is not unusual that it doesn't have a Creed patch in the inside. You'll know, like, if you get a fake coach bag. There's, there, I haven't even seen any that aren't blatantly obvious that they're fake. If you've seen a real coach bag, you'll definitely know a fake one. People always try and, and learn, you know, oh, I'm going to learn this fake and learn that fake. And it's so much easier if you just learn the authentic, you learn what an authentic looks like, 
and then you can spot a fake a mile away. You'll notice like um, one thing about a lot of the fakes is the hardware is horrible on them. Coach always uses a really nice quality thick hardware. So see on this, like when you spin this around, I can't even barely get it to spin, but it is just, it's a solid piece and it's really, really nice in quality. On the fake ones, there will be a seam and the seam usually doesn't line up and it's, it's so bad that you can actually like bend it. It's just really cheap and horrible. Coach doesn't use that. Um, they do have some bags with seams in them, but the seams will line up. And I'll show you that on this legacy bag here. You'll see that like these rings are solid. There's no seams. But when you get to this one here, I'll try and get it in the right lighting here. You can see this little light seam right here, this little black line. But see how it lines up perfectly. Like you really have to look for that line. On the fake coach bags, it'll be very noticeable. Like you'll be able to spot it in a picture. You'll be able to see that there are seams everywhere. Um, most of the time coach won't have seams, but, but they do sometimes. So just be aware that if it does have seams that it should look nice and it should blend together smoothly. Also, um, coach used to use YKK zippers, but they now have switched to using the company Ideal. So, and you can even go into a coach store and you'll see that they're now using Ideal brand zippers. So if you get a bag that doesn't have YKK zippers and it says Ideal, don't be freaked out. It is authentic. That is a zipper company that they use. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps. Like I said, um, try using the Google search for looking up the last five and that should help you. Um, it's, it's, if you just, like I said, if you pull it in on Google and it shows a bunch of random stuff or a bunch of random bags, and you don't see yours on there, more than likely it's it's not authentic because it should show up on there. But like I said, there are a few rare bags. Um, you also want to keep an eye out for that ugly interior, the brown with gold C's or the, the gross yellowish color with brown C's. Just stay away from those. They're not real. They don't use zebra or floral interior. It's going to be a solid. There is a couple bags where they'll use kind of like a blurry black and white checkered on a special edition. But like I said, those are very rare. Um, so just the interiors, the most important part. Anytime I'm trying to, to see if a bag's authentic, I always say, send me a picture of the Creed patch and send me a picture of the interior because those are always the, the easiest ways to tell. So hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and feel free to like and subscribe to my page. I also have a video on how to authenticate a Michael Kors bag in five seconds. Thanks so much for watching.